Hey, so this is, this is unusual for me. Uh, normally I don't talk about shit that I am not an expert in, well, expert, that, that I'm not very well versed, not very well educated. Um, I don't normally come out and say, hey, I'm having this new experience that's rattling me and confusing me and throwing me off. And normally when I shoot a video, bang, I'm a one take wonder. Uh, this is probably my fourth or fifth attempt at this video because it's a subject matter that I just don't, I don't, ah, I don't get it. So, the, what I'm talking about, what I'm trying to talk about, what I'm failing at talking about is self-defense. So, I've been in a bubble. I've been in my own little isolated world um, for 20 Two years now, I've been either a professional fighter or a professional trainer. Um, I've I've I fought professionally in MMA, and I trained professional MMA fighters and professional boxers and professional kickboxers. Uh, so have very little exposure to the self defense. I'm not going to call it a community. I'll call it a genre. Oh. Um, here's, here's, here's my problem. Everyone says self-defense. And what really annoys me is the yeah butters. Yeah but. Yeah but for self-defense. And this is what I hear when somebody says yeah but. Fuck you. That's <laughs> kind of what they mean too. Well, an expert will present and then they'll say, yeah, but blah, blah, blah. In, in martial arts, the yeah butters are the self-defense people and in fitness, uh, <laughs> you get a lot of yeah, but, and also in science and medicine, yeah, but. The yeah butters are almost always wrong, out of line, disrespectful, and misinformed. Uh, so, the thing I'm struggling with is people say, yeah, but for self-defense and act as though anyone should know what they mean by self-defense. There's no, there's no agreed upon, universal, unilateral, uh, unified, there's no definition of self-defense that, that, uh, oh, that's what you're talking about. Now, eh. So what I find, what I'm seeing is that very, and I find it off-putting. I, 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 I'm a little uh, not happy about it. People say self-defense and they mean street fighting. Like, what? Street fighting. Street fighting. Um, street fighting is entirely avoidable and obnoxious and immature and illegal and stupid. It, the, it's all risk. No benefit. If you want to fight because you're a fighter and there's something wrong with you and you got to fight, go into combat sports. That's what it's there for. It's like street fighting or uh, street racing or racing on the track, right? If you street race, you're endangering yourself, you're endangering others, you're breaking the law, you're kind of a dick. If you do it on the track, that's cool. Same thing with fighting. If you got to do it, do it in a uh, structured environment, do it with equipment, regulations, uh, do it at an amateur level, do it at a professional level. There's at least some upside, but if you're, you're just street fighting, meh, not cool. All right, let me, let me try and, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, this is a bit of a mess, uh, but let me give you how I, let me give you my definitions of how I look at things, right? There's combat sports. Right? And I think we're all pretty clear about what that is. Sanctioning body, safety equipment, referee, rules. <laughs> um, and you compete. And it's an athletic event. Right? That's, that's its own thing. That's what I do. I think it's cool. Uh, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. If you can do anything else, I don't recommend combat sports. Not, not professionally. Like as a hobby, okay, cool. You know, you, you kind of jive with it and you want to try it 
bucket list amateur, cool. But as a profession, it's a bad, bad choice. But my life is full of bad choices and people that make bad choices. That's something else. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, on the other side, we have martial arts. And for me, martial arts is actually not about fighting. It's about not fighting by mastering fighting techniques. Um, yeah, well, woo woo. So martial arts is a life practice that involves physical training, mental training, spiritual training. Blow off valves, turbos, no nitrous, but anyway. Um, martial arts is a life practice that involves physical training, spiritual training, mental training, and is a it's a life practice that makes you a better person. Um, and it's actually not about fighting. It's about not fighting by mastering, by learning the process of mastery. And it just, just so happens that, that the fighting arts is the medium or the media that you are choosing to master. Okay. Now, somewhere in the middle is this self-defense stuff. And the street fighting crap is crap. Then that has some validity is, is uh, mastering the violent aspects of the actual martial arts without any of the enlightened aspects of the actual arts. So it's fight stuff and you are fixating on unarmed fighting without rules and the thing that I'm sticking with the, the, the thing ah, the problem that I'm having is you're buying a lot of insurance for uh, something's not going to happen statistically speaking I don't know if I'm making any sense, and I'm sorry I'm so jumbled, but statistically speaking, you are not going to have a violent encounter that you can't prevent or avoid. Ah, that's not to say that they don't happen. That's like me saying you're not going to get struck by lightning. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but my neighbor, uh, yeah, but my, my neighbor's grandfather did. Yeah, okay. And just like getting struck by lightning, you fucking survive based on luck more than anything else. If somebody is really doing a home invasion or fucking, ah, they're coming in, guns are blazing, they're trying to fucking kill you. I don't care how much training you have. I don't care. Come on. You're in the likelihood of it happening is so, and, and you're spending all this time and energy. It's a fucking fetish. You're fetishizing violence and extreme violence, untethered, untamed, unruly violence. Now, if you live in a hostile environment, in a dangerous place, and it's serious, fucking get a gun, learn how to use it, get a knife, learn how to use it, and watch your back, be aware. Sure, fine, but for 97, 98, 99.7% of the rest of all of us. Come on, man. You're fucking tweaking out. You're running down a rabbit hole and you're spending all this time on fight techniques that you'll never use and the shit that you actually need to defend yourself against, you're ignoring. So what am I talking about? Get this. What's actually going to fucking kill you? What is going to kill you? You. Not... Not somebody in, but you. What's actually going to kill you? Assuming that you're my peer and that you're in the Western world. <laughs> now, understand, with the internet, everything's fucking global. But 
statistically speaking, realistically, what's going to kill you is heart disease. And then this next, number two, is cancer. And number three is the medical intervention trying to address your heart disease or cancer. And then on and on and on and on. Here's the point. The shit that is going to kill you is you. Your bad choices. Your bad lifestyle. You're smoking, you're drinking, you're fucking trans fats. Your diet and lack of exercise is way more if this much. And then you're tweaking out about learning how to fight without rules and you're not getting in shape and you're eating like shit and you're smoking and drinking it. Come on, man. Now, I don't actually want to take that tone, right? Because as I said before, <laughs> my life is full of bad choices and I'm surrounded by professional fighters that make bad choices. <clears throat> but it just, to me, you're talking about self-defense and you're fi fixating on stuff that's never going to happen and completely ignoring the shit that is happening. And some of you might say, well, I no, I'm fit and I eat well. And it, well, then you're falling more into the category of a martial artist. And even an athlete or a competitive fighter. Well, they're watching their diet and they're getting plenty of exercise, right? So this, this weird mid, and I, I guess the reason I'm sh doing this is because I didn't realize how, how prevalent it was. I, it, I'm, you know, yeah, I'm naive. Congrats. I've, like I said, I've been in a bubble. I've been isolated and it's just, it's, they're, they're out there. These unfit, irrational people with a violence fetish that, uh, that are creeping on us. I don't know, man. <laughs>